in this video, I'm going to show you how to hang a chandelier and I'm going to show you how you can do that all by yourself. So for this type of chandelier that hangs from a chain, as long as you can lift it, as long as you can do this, you can hang it all by yourself without anyone else helping you. And I'm going to show you how you can do that right now. First, I turned off the power to the electrical box from the breaker panel in the basement. Now what you're seeing here is a crossbar with a nipple screwed into the hole in the middle of it. See the two holes for the screws? I'm going to attach the crossbar by screwing it to the electrical box like this. I've already put in the screw on the other side and this is the second screw. So here's the first screw and here's the second screw. Now here is the trick. You need to remove the screw collar loop from the chain. To do that, just pry open one of the chain links. Even if you're not very strong, you can do this by using two large pliers. So this is the screw collar loop. I have to adjust my chain length by removing a few more links but you don't need to do this if your chain length is fine. Now I'm going to take this screw collar loop and screw it onto the nipple. To hang the chandelier, first pull the wires and the chain through this ring, which is known as the collar. and then through the canopy. I'm pulling the chain through the collar and then through the canopy. Make sure to hold on to the chain. The top link of the chain should be a link that you had pried open so that you can hook it onto the screw collar loop or in my case to the closed link that is attached to the screw collar loop. Next, I need to push these wires through this nipple so that they come out the other end. Normally, this would be easy to do because a nipple that's about two and a half inches long is suitable. But because I have a medallion that's about three and a half inches thick, I had to use a nipple that was about six inches and that's a long way for these wires to have to make their way through. So I lined them up and taped them together to make it easier to push them through. Here I just grabbed and pulled down the wires that have come out the other end. I'm not sure whether you can see that the length of the wires that have come out the other end is getting longer and longer. Again, here are the wires going into the nipple and they have come out the other end.
Now I can connect the wires from the chandelier to the house wires in the electrical box. I already removed the black electrical tape that I had used to tape together the wires at the end. So I can just strip the wires and I also mark the hot wire with some black tape. The wires from the chandelier have a clear coating. So the way you can tell which is the hot wire and which is the neutral wire is by feeling the outside of the wires for the ribbed wire, the neutral wire, and the smooth wire, the hot wire. So I'm connecting the smooth wire, which I marked with some black tape, to the black wire from the electrical box. I'm giving the wire from the chandelier a little tug to make sure that it's firmly attached to the other wire in the nut. Now I'm attaching the other wire, the ribbed wire, to the neutral white wire from the electrical box. Again, I'm giving a little tug on the wire to make sure that it's firmly attached to the other wire in the wire nut. Finally, I'm connecting the bare wire from the chandelier to the bare copper ground wire from the electrical box. Then I just push in the wires and put the canopy on. And screw the collar onto the screw collar loop to hold the canopy in place. Lastly, I close the chain link that I had opened. I'm going to need some light bulbs to test that the wiring was successfully done. 